Hey there, I'm Raja and welcome to your second Unity 5 2D racing game tutorial. So in the last video we just set up the scene and we added our car. So in this video we're gonna learn how to create a racing track uh, using a free art program. And first of all let me go ahead and uh, correct the resolution so that we can uh, get a good resolution. So from here just click this this where the free aspect is written inside the game window click this and just select the plus sign plus sign and we're gonna add a new uh, level let's name it Android so that we can also deploy it to Android uh, so that we can uh, so we have to select a resolution that is supported by Android so for the width let's give it 480 and for the height give it 800 now press OK. Now it has got the resolution of an Android mobile. OK. Now go and save the scene again. Control S or Command S. So now let's go and create the track. Now you can use any uh, free art program or any uh, whatever photo editing program you want. Uh, you can use Photoshop, GIMP or whatever. I am using my favorite tool called Inkscape. I will give a link to download this uh, free software. Uh, this is a completely free software and it is great for creating 2D game arts. It's called Inkscape. So it's the Inkscape and you can do uh, whatever I'm doing in any program. Okay. So first of all, let's select the rectangle tool. You can select the rectangle tool in any tool you want. So uh, create a new rectangle. Oh, I have to give a color here. So for it, I am selecting this color because we are we're going to create a racing track. So I think this color should be good. Now from here, for the width, let's uh, make the width 480 and make the height 800. Now it looks good. Now let's go and zoom in it, uh, zoom it a bit so that we can see it clearly and uh, see the racing track. Now we have to make. Uh, some marks you can see uh, whenever you play racing games you know that there are a lot of white marks uh, line by line by line so we have to create those so select the rectangle tool again as you can see it's very very simple you can do it with any tool even even with paint I think so now let's select the white color so that we get white rectangles uh, let's create a white rectangle here pretty small I think this should be good and go and duplicate it I'm, con I'm pressing ctrl D to duplicate it and you can use uh, anything you want by copying or pasting uh, I'm just duplicating it by pressing ctrl D you can do ctrl C and ctrl V and let's put it in this side from here drag from here just click the mouse and drag a line so that we can uh, we can see if both of these things are at the same level or not wow <laughs> I have made these things at the same level okay so now let's select those both of this uh, I'm using shift to select both of this select this and then press shift and then select this again now press ctrl D and duplicate it again and now just put it down below by I'm doing this by using the arrow key and now uh, repeat the same thing duplicate it again and put it down by the arrow key duplicate it again and put it down by using the arrow key. I think our racing track is almost complete. Or I think I should make these things a bit larger. So let's go and select all of this and make it a bit larger. I think this should be good. This should be good. And for the middle, I'm gonna also create a very small, tiny rectangle. yes and then go and press ctrl D duplicate it again and put it down press ctrl D again and uh, oh. press ctrl D again and move it down oh no Wow, I think our car is, our track is ready. So let's 
select all of those and group these things I'm pressing ctrl G to group it now we're gonna export this so select the whole thing from file export bitmap and we're gonna export it as a PNG and I'm gonna name it I'm gonna name it track track.png and the width is 480 and the height is 800 okay now click on export and it's going to export it now it has exported and saved in somewhere so now I'm gonna import it in our unity project so it has been saved here in the track so from here I'm gonna select the track and drag it inside the sprites folder okay so I have dragged it inside the sprites folder now whenever you uh, create a new sprite or add it in unity it just whenever you add an image in 2d mode in unity by default it gets imported as a sprite okay but we want it to be a texture because we want this to be repeated again and again by infinite uh, infinitely okay so that is why we want to make it a texture so just select it and from the inspector uh, if you click the this texture type you will get a texture at the first option so just click that so we have uh, created it as a texture and from here the wrap mode is clamp you just go select it and make it repeat so from here do the texture and wrap mode repeat now press the apply button and it will be a uh, texture okay so now what we have to do is uh, we have to create a quad for the uh, track so go to game object 3d object quad so a new quad will be created as you can see a new quad has been created oh, I actually uh, a new quad has been created so let's go and uh, scale the bit so that it just fills the whole track so from the scale uh, in the X I think I will make it 5 yes and for the Y let's make it 10 okay this is good now this is black so let's go and add a directional light to it so game object light directional light and from here just increase the intensity a bit so that it more, looks a bit more white I think this should be good now uh, select the track and drag and drop it on your uh, on your quad so this is how our track looks like now remember in order to do that you have to make the track a texture type otherwise this is not gonna happen okay so you're gonna select that and drag and drop it on your uh, on your quad so now our scene is ready with the car and the track we just created a track from scratch and in the next video we're going to move the car and we're gonna control the car create a 2d car controller so thank you very very much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you have any questions just write those in comments and I will see you in the next video let's move on to the next video thanks